Well, now it's eight mon months later. So, another thing that we have to do is to paint this wall trailer. As it's 25 years old and it has got some rust. We are putting new roof on it, so we also want it to have a fresh color. So we we'll paint it green again like it was and get rid of all the rust. That way it looks way better. On the underside, I already painted that in 2015. And back then I just sanded everything and I put a big layer of two component paint on there. That way it doesn't rust anymore. And that seems to hold up really well as we don't have any rust at the bottom side. And that's six years ago now. So absolutely perfect. That's also why it makes sense to do the top side because the bottom side is just perfect. Now it's eight months later than when I started the project and the roof is completely finished and I did a lot of paint work on the front and on the top but what I haven't done is fix the lighting. The trailer has light and they work perfect in most situations. I just have the experience that every harvest again you drive around and after two three days the lights stop working so first it's the pinkers and then also the main lights and that's just because these are old-fashioned lights and when we have LED lights then we won't have the problem so I order new LED lights which we're gonna install on here which will prevent all the loose contacts from the lighting so hopefully that's gonna fix it forever and it's also way nicer to have LED lights so 
Let's install these and fix all the lighting problems with that. It's also since January that we need license plates in the Netherlands, so we're gonna have to mount the license plate here. So the trailer actually has a license and we also need, a, need to add a light for it. So since we're gonna take our hands on the lighting, it also makes sense to make this one straight away. So let's do all that. Well, I took off the lights, and as you can see, you can still see where they, are, where they were, uh, so we have a lot of rust. So this is not just surface rust, it's really deep, so I'm gonna cut out everything that's white. And the same for the other side, and I'm gonna fill this up completely new with a metal plate on both sides. That way we got fresh metal, and that way it can last for a long while again. As fixing this up, it won't do it. That's gonna be a mess in 10 years. As this trailer is always outside, it's high, it's got a roof, so it has to stand outside. That's looking not too bad, so let's do this one for the other side as well. And then we can make the lights in there and also the license plate. So that will really clean up and make it look good. I will try to paint it this evening, that way it will be dry tomorrow. So let's hope that we can still paint today, as it's already getting dark a bit. So I don't know if I can film the painting.
Well, that's it for this evening. I painted it, as you can see, but now I can't see anymore. So let the paint dry for tomorrow and then we can continue. So looks good so far. It's coming together pretty well so far. So we got the lights, we got the license plate and also license plate li lighting. And we got a new plug here. So we know that that one is gonna work as well for the future. Now the only thing that I still have to do is connect everything up and also do the paint work. Uh, so now this looks quite rough, but I did that on purpose. Because I want to keep a little bit of white and the rest should be green. Lighting works like a charm now, so I haven't shown it on video, but it works perfectly. There's one thing I need to do, and that's that the right side also has a left light now. So I need another right light for this one, otherwise it looks really awkward if you try find it. So I really need proper lights for the right side, but that's easy swappable. So I will do that later when I have them. Now there's one thing we have to do, and that's just paint the green that isn't painted yet everything off the top where the new sail is now I just need to do everything from here on down and the side basically the front is all done so it's just this part on the rear and also the lower front part so let's get painting Well, now it's completely painted, so it should be good for another 10 years at least, and then we can paint it again. I also painted the side because I had some paint left. Uh, it doesn't make too much sense to put it on the side, but I wanted to get rid of it as the paint was already older, so now it's spent well. And I also painted the front. Besides that, I did the rest of the wall trailer this winter. And the wall chassis part, we did it five years ago with really good paint, so we won't ever have to touch that again. So it should be good and functional now. So let's put it down onto the ground and park it. And then get started with the next trailer, as we need to fix the other trailer as well. It has exactly the same thing. I want to put new lights on there, so it is good for the upcoming years. <laughs> 